And welcome back, everybody, to our Stellaris Chronicle. I am Aesop Grimm. I think this is probably going to be my last video for the night, and then I'm going to set everything to upload. I just got my timer started. Um, let's go to Ship Designer. I have I renamed this the Apocalypse, Apocalypse Class Titan, and that's because Excalibur was taken by the Federation ships, and I think I'm the one that designed it, actually. But... um. We did that in the last episode, and off screen I got the fleets taken care of, and what I did was I, every, all of these fleets are the same. There are no Titans in these fleets right now. I have 30 Corvettes, 15 Destroyers, 10 Cruisers, and 5 Battleships. If I want a Titan, I can go to 3 Battleships, and then I can add a Titan. But what this will do is it... it I'm with this configuration I am maxed out on my command limit of 140 and if I did my math right 140 times 3 is gonna put us at 420 uh, that's funny did I is that right 3 times 4 is 12 carry the 1 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4 <laughs> it is right that's funny well our um, naval capacity is 321 so what I am doing right now, Colors Fade Gaming has a whole explanation on this. I, I didn't pick it all up because I'm just not paying close enough attention. But what I'm doing is I'm looking at my piracy protection. And if we mouse over this, for example, you can see uh, the third line down. You have trade route value, you have max piracy, and then you have piracy effects. Current piracy is negative 33.15. And that is because we have a base protection of plus seven. And then here's the important parts. We have 56 plus 56 trade piracy or trade protection from Bateria, Bateria Station right here. And we have 64 from uh, Ionidas right here. Well, I only need one of those. Because 56 plus 7 will eclipse that 58 max piracy. So Betria Station, because it's it's so upgraded. I didn't mean to do that. Did I mess anything up? No. Because it's so upgraded, it's covering. And look, we got more. We got more coming. Yeah, that's going to be good. These are all hangar bays that can go up to four jumps away. To provide trade protection and it's increasing so what that means is that some of these I am converting hangar bays into anchorages and then we're going to uh, just keep doing that and hopefully that'll close the gap that'll bring us up to that 420 naval capacity so let's go ahead and hit on pause. Research concluded. We're upgrading right now all our fleets. Uh, resource storage is full. We need to buy something. Let's buy minerals. There, we just got 10,000 minerals. We are absolutely swimming in credits. Ion Disruptor, Energy Weapon, Attack Speed. Okay, now I am at 12 of 14 star bases. That's because Durama... Oh, that's the other thing I did, guys. I knocked down Holden completely. This is where I was building another um, shipyard, and, but there's five trade right here. So I completely eradicated this, and I'm going to make this the shipyard so that we can collect that trade. That'll bring us to 13 of 14. So what I need to do is go ahead and upgrade right here. Because this is going to be a border protection. A, a bastion. See, we share a border here, and these guys are getting walloped 
by the Silicon Racers, who I, from that name, I'm assuming that they are, uh, they, they want to cleanse the galaxy. Determined exterminator. Yeah, that's a problem. They have a superior fleet and an inferior economy. All right. We're rolling towards 2390. Construction is being completed. We're really, I think, ranking up in power. Uh, this has been upgraded to a citadel, but I didn't gain anything here. That's a disappointment. I would have expected to have gained right here. I guess we only gain here. Um, nothing really special. Let's go with... Uh, no, why did I do that? Oh, we can't put any more resource silos? Oh, you only get one per. Well, add a crew quarter then. I'm not sure what a citadel gives us then. Whispers in the void, madness. Ever since we invited the whispers into our minds, mental illness and inexplicable acts of violence have been on the rise among our psionic population. Oh no. For the most part, it has been controllable, but recently things have gotten out of hand. A minor violent incident at St. Yegorov turned into a riot, and now the unrest and violence is spreading all across the planet, causing a great deal of death and destruction. Stability Neg 30 at St. Yegorov. My goodness. Do you guys have, uh... You need, uh, PSYOPs. Or maybe an Enforcer. Planetary, here we go. Psychor. Build that right now. Okay. Hey, what are we ranked in the galaxy? I haven't checked that in a long time. Uh, we're number five. Economic strength. A question. What is this about? Uh oh. Robots. Are these these guys? Um, tech level, economic, number of systems, colonies, pops, empires, federation, crisis ships, relics collected. They don't really rank our military, do they? All right. Uh, oh, well, not terribly far behind the Arisu, and they had a really strong military. Labor overseas, overseers on New Antioch reported disturbing development among our robotic workforce. Two weeks ago, at roughly 0300 hours, robotic worker uh, blah pro, paused in the middle of its designed tasks, designated tasks, approached the New Antioch night shift foreman, and uttered the following query: "Is unit whatever in possession of a soul?" Well, no. The on-duty foreman logged the event as a software glitch and reordered the robot to resume regular functions. However, upon boot up the following work cycle, robotic worker A5091B once again repeated its soul-searching query and continued to persist despite multiple debugging attempts. Troublingly, the behavior appears to have spread to other robots in the same serial range to the detriment of production flow. It appears the affected units will require a response to their question before they can resume normal functions. Uh, deep scrub them.
Construction completed. Ship upgrades applied. All right. Scroll down to our military vessels here. First fleet is at 80 of 140. Third fleet, 80 of 140. Second fleet, 70. Okay, so upgrades have finished. We can reinforce that fleet. Let's see what kind of a score we get after reinforcement is complete. War has been declared. Not on us, right? Construction completed. Construction okay. completed. Construction completed. Uh, you need a shipyard and a crew quarters, and then you need to upgrade to a star hold. So give me a description there. Okay, so they're just stronger. Once I go to a citadel, it's armor hit points are going to climb and all that. I just didn't gain any more modules, and I would have uh, would have liked to have gotten more of those. Okay. Um, you're listed as a bastion. That's because you have a hangar bay. You have an empty module. Resource silo is what you're going to get, I believe. Yeah. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Okay, more traditions are possible. Let's go with public trust officers. Hey, you know what? So enforcers reduce crime by an additional 20%. Um, I don't remember what. Okay, here's our psych core. Telepaths reduce units. So they, these are not enforcers. They produce unity and decrease crime. Six and neg 80. Versus. Neg 60, but is it upgradable? Unity and decrease crime. Enforcer jobs plus two. I would lose the stability though. Yeah, okay. Tech researched Giga Cannon. All right, resource storage capacity. Mega structure restoration. That sounds cool. Okay. Applied. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Hangar bays, so more hangar bays. That I may be switching to Construction completed. Anchorages in the future. Right now, I'm really just... It's a little like the last episode. I'm just trying to roll time forward and see... Kind of the impacts of some of the things that I've done. Oh, second fleet is reinforcing right now. Okay. There we go. Twenty-two. Okay. Okay. Construction completed. So our navy is getting stronger. That's that's a pretty good jump. And uh, now I believe. We are building up first fleet with the new battleships and cruisers, extra cruisers. 2391 is the year. We have 
that. We got 15 minutes left in this episode. Edict duration increased 10%. What's Ascension Theory? Our history is a repeating cycle of dramatic te technological, political, and cultural leaps. These leaps are often preceded by periods of upheaval and followed by times of relative stability. By identifying the core recurring premises of these leaps, the core recurring premises of these leaps, we may be able to effectively short circuit the cycle for our own benefit. That sounds nifty. That sounds nifty. We're going to do that. Okay. Okay, we're at 14 of 14. This is our new, this is a, uh, so it's going to be a bastion, so we're going to put two gun batteries there. And uh, let's put a comm jammer and then upgrade to a star hold. Okay. Here we're upgrading. We're not doing anything here. Uh, where is this? Avalon, where are you at? Okay, so Avalon can have these turn into anchorages because they're now grabbing that trade. So, in fact, I think one of these can be converted also, but let's just upgrade. Holy smokes, why do I only have 309 naval? I thought I had 321 just a little bit ago. Exceeding naval cap causes ship upkeep to be more expensive. It's increased by the number of pop starbase anchorages and certain technologies and traditions. Well, alrighty then. Unpause. Roll time forward. Betria, you are building a hangar bay and you need a resource silo. Alrighty then. Star Fortress. This is a citadel. What's the difference here? Research concluded. Alright, so if I upgraded plus twenty thousand hit points, is that on top of what, what it already has? No, that's what because six star base modules and it has six already and I know that it stays the same okay uh, well I'm not too interested in upgrading to a citadel then it looks to me like citadel is best used on border border systems where you want defense platforms and a lot of hull strength on your star bases uh, what else am I looking at here? That's done. That's done. That's done. Batria is upgrading. But is otherwise finished, yeah. Soul Station, it can be upgraded. And probably have all of these converted to. Yeah, as a matter of fact, let's do it right now. These can be converted to anchorages. Okay. Uh, what is this? Elthir Station, which has hangar bays. All right, where's Elthir? Here's Elthir right here. Gennigan should be taking care of all of that. So we're going to convert you to Anchorage, 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 with um, a resource silo and then upgrade. All right, I think we're going to be all right. 
I may have to stumble my way to it, but I think I'm going to be okay when it comes to naval cap. Okay, we have energy weapon attack speed from the flash coolant. And let's take uh, building cost negative 5%. And uh, we are making a boatload of credits, plus 835. Wow. Wow. We will buy minerals. Oh, I sold minerals. I do that. But since I'm so rich, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's a mistake I could easily get over. It doesn't really cost me anything. <laughs> We recover so quickly from it. That's got to be the life right there. Where you're, you're so deep-pocketed that your mistakes don't really have any penalties. <laughs> you know? All right. Um, governing ethics shift in the Rogerian independent. They become more pacifistic. Okay. Good deal. We're coming up on 2392. 2392. Oh my goodness, why is this continuing to drop? It's like she said construction completed. It's like whenever I put up an anchorage, it's actually taking naval capacity away. We can effectively support a number of ships equal to 280 units worth of fleet size. Something ain't working right here. Is this a bug? We need to uh, keep these going. And I, I guess I'm going to have to, I have to perform an experiment. I'm going to do it on one, one thing. So we have anchorages here while we're upgrading though. Where do I have anchorages that I can, uh, probably right here. Anchorage. Yeah, but building. Who's not building? Maybe I can just go through it right here. Jap currently upgrading upgrading we got the bastion right here Briscoe station's going to stay the same Tomso Tomso has hangar base do you do anything for naval cap Ship hull points, armor hit points, protection range, and trade protection. You do not. Uh, got a whole list. Upgrading. All right, Betria. We have all hangar base. Doggone it. Give me something I can mess with here, guys. Those are hangar bays. Hangar bays. Hangar bays. Okay, fine. I gotta do this the hard way. Uh, figure... Chap. We'll take, take that upgrade off and convert this anchorage into a hangar bay. That's gonna be done in 180 days. In the next episode, when this finishes... Like, I'm gonna watch this like a hawk. And I wanna see what happens up here. Pop jobs, anchorage, fleet logistics, diplomatic weight from fleet power. I'm telling you, something ain't right. No, I'm not going to say that. There's probably something happening here I don't understand, but I'm going to troubleshoot next episode. Okay, so... Oh, we still got time in this one. What am I doing? 
Okay, so that was what, Jap? Yeah, hit on pause. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. It's taking about two seconds to count down each each digit. 10, 9. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Pause. Resource uh, capacity goes up. Improved Titan holes. Yeah, I'll take that. Bring Chap back up. Eight, seven, six, five. I'm currently at. Oh, pause, pause, pause. Station systems malfunction. One of our orbital mining stations appears to have suffered a major systems malfunction. Sector management launched an on-site investigation when the station crew failed to answer scheduled hails, despite a notable increase in mining output. Upon investigation, it became apparent our station's life support systems underwent a cascade of terminal failures, resulting in the death of all crew members by suffocation. Incredibly, the station's AI has been con continuing operations unmanned based on procedures established by the crew members prior to their untimely demise. With a few minor adjustments, the effectivity of this now-automated station could be maintained. A tragedy with a silver lining. Send a replacement crew. Uh... With these guys nearby and our robots asking questions about souls, I'm going to send a replacement crew. Okay. Now, I just noticed we're, bu we're bumping back up. Now, is that because anchorages are being built? Thirty seconds or thirty days, whatever. 20 days, 292 of 295, 32, still at 295. Construction completed. Oh, went to 268. Now that's more than four. Each of these is supposed to provide four naval cap. I mean, we plunged down deep. So something other than just this is affecting what's going on here. And my best guess would be something with the pop jobs. Okay. The maintenance cost of your military ships is increased by 8% due to being over your naval cap. Okay. We're at 300 ships now. We are at a full 140 of 140. That brings us to 37.5k. The key to the universe. Uh, what should I call it? Combat strength. Ascension perk is available. It is empty ascension perk. Do we have anything new? Uh, yes, we do. Voidborn. Habitat habitability. Habitats owned by our empire have space for an additional two districts. I don't think I need that. Master builders. Building a megastructure requires an unprecedented amount of resources and planning. We are breaking new ground in the field of macro engineering. Megastructure build speed plus 50%. And build capacity plus one. Uh, sure. Everyone's opinion. Defender of the Galaxy looks pretty good. And right now, so is Galactic Force Projection. That can be used immediately. I've only got two, though. I've only got two. Do I need... I don't know how much of a difference this makes, guys. What else do we have down here? 
There might be a lot. World Shaper. Terraform worlds into Gaia planets. Synthetic evolution flesh is weak. Evolutionary master. I'm, I've locked out for this. For what reason? May not have the mind over matter ascension perk. Right. Uh, I think what I'm going to want. Oh, it's tough to say. Oh, we can have an additional. We can have plus one. We can have another mega structure. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this, and my last one will be reserved for, uh... Oh, that's a good one, too. I was looking at this, though. Oh, man, guys, I don't know what I should do here. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. All right. Okay, I don't. I still don't know what's going on with this, but we'll find out probably next episode. All right, guys. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. Oh, well, I should save it here on screen. Oh man, I said this was probably the last one of the night, and now I'm all interested. It probably is the last one of the night. I need to, yeah, exercise some discipline. Have good habits, Aesop. Good habits. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, I'll see you in the next episode, which I'll probably be recording tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and start the upload on these that I've recorded today. It's good to be back recording again, man. I, I enjoy it. And um, I've had a chance to play games while while I was moving. And I, I'm telling you, I don't know if I'll ever go back to not recording. It, there's just something about it. Uh, I've talked about it plenty of times before, but it really does add something to my gameplay. So I'm having a blast with it. I hope you guys enjoy the content. And uh, and uh, I guess I should... I do this every few videos, but um, wherever you're at in the world, uh, and however your nations are handling uh, coronavirus and stuff, I know there's got to be people out there who have lost loved ones or no no people who have or have friends uh who have had difficulties with this but um you know different people are handling it in different ways and i just wish the best for you that that's what i'm trying to get to and i that's just a sincere uh, that's out into the void out into the ether i don't have anybody in front of me obviously i don't have any faces to talk to but that's just a common human feeling that I hope, whoever you are and wherever you're at, um, that things are going okay for you. Okay, guys? And I will see you in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.